Hi guys, this is part two of making profiles to create two rail sweeps for panels. And you can see in this picture, I already created the panels so that we don't have to mess with that. I simply made the outside of the panel and created this square for to complete my two rail sweep it's all it's for it's the only reason it's there it won't be part of the panel it's only to to use in the sweep and then here will be your reveals or dugouts or whatever you want to call them for the actual panel the panelization I can show you real quickly over on the other side where I already finished these things you can see how they highlighted and you can see how the panels are and go into 3d view and maybe pull that around a little bit so you can see that it actually gives me my panel just as if it were already finished and you can see the rounded corner here you can see the profile cut out here in the flat tops of the panel as well. Maybe I can come around and you can see it even a little better and see that once we get to the surface of the material you can see the orientation. It's a little difficult. It's a little difficult to see it on here period. Maybe if I colored them that would be easier but we're just gonna blow right past that. We don't need to mess with that right now. Now we're simply going to create two rail sweeps using using our profiles that we did over on the other video in the other screen. I already copied and pasted and brought them over here. Actually I did not. They were already here from creating that other thing but but for the sake of uh, cinematic cinematic integrity I'll tell you that I brought them over here because I told you I was going to in the last video now uh very simply create we're going to create a two rail sweep and i'll probably struggle with this as i always do getting them in order it's sometimes complicated i i, I have a hard time arranging which end of this starts where so when i go ahead and hit the shift key i'll grab the first rail then I'm going to grab the second rail. Then I'm going to grab my profile. And notice I'm going to grab it on this end. And then I grab this outside rail first. Because I'm assuming that when I back up here, it tells you which one's blue. See, that end of that profile is going to match this end of the two rail sweep. And if you just select these differently, if I go ahead and undeselect, if I were to select this one first, then this one, you can see where the blue moves. So when I grab this profile, it still grabs a blue. So it's going to be backwards. My profile would actually be backwards here, and I don't want that. So you have to watch the orientation in which you grab the items. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one first, and I'm going to grab this one, so that one gets blue, and then this one, because I want the blue to be on that left end. Now you can see these don't line up, you just connect the rail nodes, that will make just the corners match, and this sweep will go all the way around, it will be absolutely beautiful thing. So I just apply that now. And you'll see that that sweep matches this sweep. I'm going to say yes. You'll see that sweep matches this sweep exactly. Now I'm going to do the same with this one. Just as simply as this. This. That's the second one. And let's, do, let's have a little fun. Real quickly, instead of doing it properly let's do it backwards and you can see the difference in the two and I'm going to grab this you'll see the blues on the wrong 
end and I'm going to go ahead and apply it and you can see here that the deepest part which is there has moved to the inside and that's not what we want so we're going to say no all I did is click the screen and I'll say no and we're going to do it correctly we're going to grab this one first hit shift grab that one grab this end go ahead and apply it bang there we have our two and I'm going to say yes it'll create components and all that good stuff in the uh, component tree you see that's the that's one component I can highlight it and then highlight it so it created one component that's good it all smeared together that's the other screen so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one this was our this was our cove edge and I want this to curve down see I want this curve from the inside of the material down and then when I do my other when I do my profile tool path right here will be the bit and it will pass on the outside of that so it will cut that straight down here to the depth of the material the rest of the way off and leave it with a nice rounded corner on here now obviously I wouldn't use this on this pan panel. I need it straight. This is just to take a look at how it works. So I'm going to try to orientate you a little better. Make it a little smaller. Let's go ahead and deselect that. Come over here and grab our two rail sweep again. We want to, once again, I want that to be the outside. See? Because I want this curve to come up and meet on the inside. So I want this end to end up on this line. That end to end up on that line. Now, if I would have just made a curve, if I would have just made a curve, which is something I tried to do a lot, Prior to learning what goes down must come up, it, it would just throw that curve in there and then the two rail sweep would just be a little round dish. And it, I couldn't figure out why it was doing it until it occurred to me that I had to come back up. I was starting at the surface of the material, going down into the material and coming back up to the surface of the project even though this line really doesn't play into anything it's just it just has to be in order for this to work correctly so let's go ahead and select this select this select this and you can see the blue matches here so I have the right end let me highlight this for you I'll have a I'll highlight this and you can see that the blue is correct I have the correct end and that blue matches up with this blue which is the one I want you can see that the, my, my rail nodes are not correct because the corners aren't matched up and they're equidistant rather than being connected so I'm going to go ahead and connect those nodes I'll apply that and that will give me a beautiful curve and you can see the dark area the, the dark area denotes the deepest part of the 3D when you're in this screen and and I guess that's not what it does when you go to the 3D screen I would like to see if we can get you a good look at that at least that half round and it it's kind of obscured because of the way I have it turned Oops, sorry about that. A little bit too big. See if I can pull it towards me. And then you can see these two profiles at work. See, you can really see where this goes down, comes over, drops down. There's a quarter round here, and it rises back up. You can actually see that one profile we created, and you can see this profile. Now it's showing the outside of that board because that's actually there. When I cut this 
this is going to remain until I come past it and take all that out with a with my uh, profile pass with a quarter inch bit but here you can you can see that round hopefully that'll hold up when I come in I have this at best set at best quality and best quality doesn't really mean a lot it's a lot of a lot of graphics work for this hardware but you can see the nice round curve that's on the edge there and if I wanted to I could I could come over and drop that down and make around a Roman OG or a flat corner anything I want to do and it's just I I couldn't be more thrilled with this discovery, and I hope it helps you guys out. Um, I think I was pretty pretty careful in showing you what I've done, and I think it'll be really easy for you guys to, to copy this. I'm going to save that, and uh, just don't let it, don't let it scare you. Be patient, and, and just use your geometry simple simple things the simpler you make it the simpler it'll be on you and experiment very much experiment with these experiment with your experiment with your profiles and everyone you everyone you do just remember that what goes down must come up and make yourself a boundary box and if you want something in a circular fashion, use a, use circles for a boundary, and and don't don't be afraid to use that geometry, and then clip away at it and remove it. But but use what you have at hand to help you do this stuff, and uh, things will be real easy on you. If you have any questions, don't don't be afraid to contact me at Talk Shop Bot. I'd look there a lot and. I hope you enjoy the videos.